Today, I'm making Marry Me Chicken Pasta in the Slow Cooker. This is day one of a five-day series of Crock-Pot or Slow Cooker dinners. Okay, day one of Slow Cooker or Crock-Pot dinners. I'm working with, this is around three pounds of chicken breast. It's four chicken breast. I've already seasoned it on uh, one side, and now I'm gonna place them into my slow cooker. Okay, I had to clean my hands. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, I'll do a little bit here. I'm gonna season, season how you like. I'm kind of going rogue a little bit for my own marry me chicken. I'm using Montreal chicken seasoning onion powder, gran this is granulated. Someone asked me the difference between uh, granulated and onion powder. This one is not as fine as a real like fine ground onion powder. This Here I have my garlic. I'm gonna go with a pinch of salt. Cracked black pepper. Here I have uh, a dried herb, Italian herb blend going on okay that was a lot <laughs> a little bit of paprika yeah. so this is three pounds of chicken breast so I am using a Mexican table cream you can sub with a cup and a half to two cups of heavy cream for the oops this is a 15 ounce container and it's actually thicker than like a, a regular heavy cream. It's more like whipping cream. And it's 15 ounce container is what I'm working with. I just poured it all over the chicken. I'm gonna just reinforce with some of my dried seasonings. I'm eyeballing a lot of things, <laughs> sorry. And then if you wanna add more, you can do that. I'm gonna just go over with the garlic, onion, Montreal chicken seasoning, cracked black pepper, and I'm going with a little more paprika. There we go. Okay. Now the easiest part, let it cook. I'm going for about three hours or so on high. If you're doing this on low, it's like six to seven. I'm gonna check it right around the three hour mark on high. Okay, I gotta plug this in. I thought I had it plugged in, but I don't. There we go. And let's set this on high. Okay, see you in three hours. So if you would prefer a stovetop version for Marry Me Chicken, I have done that recipe video already. I will link it in the description below. And it's closer to sort of what went viral. Anywho, check the description for the stovetop version. I'm making pasta with this, so I have my boiling water. And I'm making penne pasta, boy in. I'm just gonna let that boil um, for around somewhere between 10 to 12 minutes, maybe about 10 minutes and I'll let it finish while it's in the crock pot. So the other ingredients I will be using in this Marry Me Chicken uh, slow cooker uh, recipe will be sun-dried tomatoes. I didn't even measure, it just, I don't know, maybe a half, third cup to half cup. And these are sliced fresh basil and some grated Parmesan cheese. So it has been right. Ooh, let me put this down. Okay. So it has been three hours. I haven't touched it. I haven't moved it. So, okay. So you can see a lot of liquid rendered from the chicken. So what I'm going to do is remove the chicken and give everything a really good mix. This is so tender. Shredding it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take some of my Parmesan cheese. I'll say like a third, a quarter of a cup to a third cup and give this a mix. I've seen some recipes where they add a slurry of like cornstarch or they'll add flour as you know in the beginning of this recipe you can do that to thicken this I'm just gonna mix everything together I'm adding pasta into the mix so it's really gonna soak up a lot of the brothiness of this okay going back in there 
whatever juices are left on this plate going in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna press on the chicken and shred it into the sauce. And it's so tender, I can just take my whisk and break it apart, just like that. Some people like to put it in a bowl and shred it with their mixer. You can do that, but I already have this whisk dirty, so it's on double duty today. It gets, even with all that rendered chicken uh, broth that was in the crock pot, with the addition of the Parmesan cheese, because as that melts, it starts to thicken. Here I'm going with my julienne sun-dried tomatoes. These were in olive oil, so it has a little bit of that oil left there. But for the most part, I kind of drained it out. I'm gonna give this a mix, and I will garnish once I add the pasta with uh, the basil and extra sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, the pasta, I've drained it, and I did reserve some pasta water. You always wanna do that. Now it's going in. Okay, now we're gonna give it a mix. And I know it doesn't look like much, but it's going to taste amazing. Okay, mixed. It's still on high, and I'm just gonna let it continue. To, it's really just gonna warm and marry everything together for the next 10 to 15 minutes, and then it's done. Okay, so this is ready. So here are extra sun-dried tomatoes that were in olive oil. They're like an herb sun-dried tomato, which is great in this. And I'm just gonna put these on top to garnish. Here I have my fresh basil that I'm just going to rip into pieces and just sprinkle all over. Actually, I shouldn't squeeze these <laughs> too much. They'll get stuck together. A little more Parmesan cheese on top. I like cracked black pepper. I also like to add some crushed red pepper flakes into the mix, but that's optional. And here is my crock pot slow cooker Mary Me Chicken pasta. Or you can just call it Mary Me Chicken, but it's so good. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.